This is the Night of Champions 17 kung saan ipapakita namin sa inyo ang future world champions who will carry the fight for the Philippines. And this is your main event of the evening, Aldo Yogon, the reigning, defending WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Champion going up against a challenger, a hard-punching Japanese fighter, Ryo Sagawa. And now, we will meet our two combatants. Ladies and gentlemen, up next, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Championship. Making his way inside the ring, all the way from Tokyo, Japan, the challenger, Ryo Sagawa. Ryo Sagawa, the challenger from Japan. He is a power puncher. Outstanding knockout ratio sa kanya career. And he's hoping to use that strength to be able to upset the defending champion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, making his way inside the ring, the pride of Hingo Og City, Misamis Oriental, Philippines, the WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Champion, Al Toyogo! The youngster Al Toyogo representing the Philippines, only 21 years of age, already carrying a regional title, the WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Belt, hoping to defend it on home soil against a hungry Japanese challenger. And your tale of the tape, 10 wins, 8 knockouts for Alto Yogon. Anim na talo at tatlong tabla sa kabilang banda, Rio Sagawa. With 4 knockouts in his 6 wins against a lone defeat. Both are orthodox fighters. 4 years a senior is Rio Sagawa contra Kai Alto Yogon. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Flash Grand Ballroom, El Norte Sports Center here at Sukat Paranaque City. ESPN5, in cooperation with El Norte International Production, is proud to present our next championship bout of the evening. This bout is brought to you in cooperation with Tancor, sanctioned by the Games and Amusements Board of the Philippines, headed by Chairman Baja Mitra, Commissioners Ed Trinidad and Marma Sangid. WBC ABCO President, Police General COVID Bakdibumi, WBC Supervisor Mr. Ralph Diokno, the three judges at ringside, Carlos Costa, Alianeta, and Sylvester Abainza. And inside the ring, in charge of the action, referee Virgilio Garcia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gray trunks trimmed with green. Official weight, 129 pounds. Professional record, six victories, including four wins, coming by way of knockout with only one defeat. Fighting out of Misako Boxing Stable of Tokyo, Japan, the challenger, Ryo Sagawa. <laughs> and now, introducing his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black trunks, official weight, 128 pounds, professional record, 10 victories, including 6 wins coming by way of knockout with 2 defeats and 1 bout even. Fighting out of El Orde Boxing Stable of Sukat Paranaque City by way of Hingo Og City, Misamis Oriental Philippines, the WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Champion, Harris Al Toyogon. Yeah. <laughs> 
จะจะ12 rounds ไปก่อน WBC Asia โอเค good bye and good luck ขอบคุณ Up for grabs in this matchup, the WB Asia Silver Super Featherweight Championship currently held by Alto Yogon of the Philippines. This is your main event for Night of Champions 17 coming to you from the ballroom inside the Elorde Sports Complex in Paranaque. Carlo Pamintuan po, kasama pa rin si Dennis Principe. Both fighters have won their last five matches. Kaninong streak ang magpapatuloy, kanino mapupunta. Ang WBC belt and karamihan partner first round stoppage yun ang nice score ng aparehong boxers intriguing itong si Rio Sagawa because kanyang mga huling panalo partner ano sabi mo nga puro knockout and most of them actually in trying to count itong mga nakalaban yun the last five fights puro panalo Four of them were against fighters that have a winning record. Mm -hmm. Shingo Kawamura, 16-4. Ryu Matsumoto, 21-2. Junki Sasaki, 19-3. Tasuko Zua, 5-1. Hindi ba sa mga tinalo nitong uh, si Ryo Sagawa? Problema lang, yung quality nitong si Alto Yogon as compared to sa mga nakalaban. Ni Sagawa. Pero nakikita natin ngayon, naturally, yung Hapon looks like the bigger fighter. Uh Oo. -oh. Although, yun na, mas matangkad, mas mahabang kamay, eh, dapat mas may bato ng jab ito. Si Rio Sagawa. Nice jab from Rio Sagawa. So far, so good. Partner kay Sagawa. It is his first time fighting outside his home country of Japan. So that should factor in, no? Paano siya magre-react in enemy territory going up against the defending champion? And so far, I think he's convinced that he has to be the aggressor in this match. Yes. Pero nabot siya ng left mula kay Alto Yogon. Alto Yogon, kalmang umpisa lamang, not forcing anything not taking unnecessary risks against what he knows is a very dangerous challenger. Mas mahaba yung hapon. May lakas din sumuntok. So he is a live opponent. Yes. Tsaka partner, makikita mo sa mata niya. Yung Japanese fighter. Parang walang takot. Parang matagal na rito. It's as if it's only him and Toyogon inside this venue. Maganda yung pinapatama niyang suntok. No? After the jab, sinusundan niya ng kanan, paminsan sa katawan, paminsan sa ulo, but it is landing against Toyogon here in round number one. How did you score that first round, Dennis? Pretty close kasi yung uh, Japanese boxer, maraming mga jabs na pinatama. Uh, gusto mag-set up ng kanyang kanan pero hindi uh, makapagpatama. But itong si Toyogon, mas konti man in terms of uh, yung bibilangin natin yung uh, total punches. Ano? Pero yung kalidad ng mga patama, mas lamang si Al Toyogon. Nasungkit ni Toyogon yung kanyang WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight title by defeating Nathan Bolsio back in 2018. It was... A six-round technical knockout victory for Toyogon, and he's trying to defend second it today. Second, second out. Ano mo partner ng sina lara ba boxers ano? Lalo yung mga may punching power. Parang nakikita ko kaysa gawo yung ganong nga movement ano. Nanjan la na kaabang lang yung jab, umabato, and then yung kanan parating na kaumang no na parang ready to explode. 2017 pa, humuling tumikim ng talo itong parehong boksingero natin. And they're hoping to continue their winning streak. Especially in this important matchup against each other. Medyo mababa lang yung left hand ni 
sa gawa. Kaya pagbato ng uh, jab, eh, parang hindi naapektuhan si Toyogon. Except yung uh, siguro madistract for a while. Pero parang ano eh, parang uh, may nakaabang na kanan parati rito kay Sagawa. Good left. Dennis, yun din yung kailangan mong i-appreciate dito sa Elorde Promotions. No? They chose an opponent na talagang susubok sa, sa tatag ng ating defending champion. Yes, tatag and discarte. No? Because uh, as it is right now, maganda yung discarte ni Alto Yogon because uh, while tinatamaan siya nung uh, jab, He's able to avoid no, uh, yung kanan uh, ni uh, Sagawa. Obviously, yung kanyang uh, main uh, hand in terms of uh, punishing uh, an opponent. Kung napapansin natin, Dennis, maganda yung bitaw ng jab dito, Yogo. Yes. Tsaka nakakapag-adjust agad si Toyogo. No? Uh, kanina, sabi nga natin, para, parang problema yung... Uh, job ni Sagawa, pero ngayon, maganda yung kanyang uh, pag-atras. Pero dahil sa haba nitong si Sagawa, kahit tingin na nito Yogon, oh. <laughs> out of danger na, bigla, nasasampal pa rin siya ng suntok. Dumidikit pa rin. So this is a riddle that Al will have to solve kung paano makapasok sa loob. And then, when he exits, how to stay away from danger against his Japanese challenger. Madiskarte rin itong uh, Japanese boxer partner. Hindi rin uh, basta pasok lang ng pasok. Good right from Sagawa. Baka makatulong sa kanya yun, no? In, uh, Snatching this uh, second round. Toyogo nagahanap ng paraan para makapasok. Somehow took it down that reached disadvantage and scored inside. Good round for the challenger. End of round number two. Walang takot yung challenger mula sa bansang Hapon kontra sa ating defending champion Alto Yogon. Carlo Pamintuan, kasama si Dennis Principe. You scored the first round for the defending champion. Ano yung score mo in the second round, Dennis? I think si Sagawa did enough para makuha yung round na yun. Ano? We saw a few solid blows. Yung jab niya is constant. Nandyan lang. Dumidikit sa mukha ni Alto Yogon. And probably, that made Toyogon realize no, na dito sa Toyogon, kailangan na maging active. At ito na, ginagawa na ni Al Toyogon. Mega! Mega! Hold it! And it all started with a good overhand right mula kay Toyogon. Now he's loading up, throwing caution to the wind against the Japanese challenger. Kita mo na may diin na lahat ng binibitawan ni Toyogon sa round number three. Parang uh, he felt eh, no? And he realized na yung second round uh, medyo di maganda. Or probably nasabihan siya ng kanya uh, trainers, ano? Na yun na. Nawala sa inyo yung, uh, nawala sa atin yung second round. Kaya dapat dito, mas maging agresibo ka. At ito mga ginagawa ni Al Toyogon. But Sagawa staying in the fight. Hindi nagpapa-apekto sa lakas nung tumatama sa kanya. Ito 
to Yogon going back to his jab. Good day jab, you know? Trying to puncture a hole in the middle of the defense, Tisagawa. Parang binuhus lahat ni Tisagawa. Yung sa suntok na yun, sumablay. Good fight so far. May, may nakikita tayong adjustments, may counter adjustments now to Yogon, trying to pour it on in round three. Again, that overhand right has been the money punch for Toyogo and Salaba na to. But Sagawa is fighting back. That's right from Yu Sagawa. Dennis, normally when we see Japanese fighters, alam natin agad na mahirap patumbahin using head punches. Yes. Kailangan yan talagang tinatrabaho mo, no? Katawan, pataas. And uh, yun ang uh, usual na ginagawa no, sa mga Japanese uh, fighters. But from time to time, ginagawa rin naman ni uh, Alto Yogo. Especially against an opponent na mas matangkad sa'yo. Yes. So yung torso niya mas mahaba rin. Could be a bigger target. Tsaka mas kita mo. Mas kita mo yung katawan. At sabi nga nila, no? Uh, sa isa, isang boxer, yung katawan ng uh, nandyan lang eh. Nasa harapan mo lang. Rambo. Dalawang malinis na overhand right. Rambo. Mula kay Alto Yogon. Fourth round coming up next. And after losing the second round of scorecard, the Dennis Principe, unofficial of course, maganda yung naging bawe ni Alto Yogon. Oh, definitely, no. Uh, for me, I felt that uh, Alto Yogon realized na yung second round was a round na, na wala sa kanila, so he had to make up for that. Second round. And hindi mo masabi yung first round, ano, dahil very close din. Okay. So it's good that in round three, we feel uh, was a clear round for Alto Yogo and uh, his corner man would probably uh, hope that you know, the start of a good moment for the boxer, si Alto Yogo, the defending champion in this fight. Muli po dahil WBC regional title weight title fight ito, babasahin natin ng scorecards. At the end of round number four, we call it the open scoring. So we'll have a better idea how our judges saw the first four rounds in just a little bit. Alto Yogo trying to get inside. Pero alam din gamitin ng hapon yung haba niya. Oh, yun ang nagagalit dito, no? Melchior advantage is using that. Demon, ganun na kalaki on his part, ano? Pero at least, makikita mo from time to time ginagamit ni Ryo Sagawa. Nagbawin ni Toyogo and he was hit with a clean punch and then he comes up with a four or five punch combination. Dennis, nakakita na rin tayo ng mga suntok sa midsection mula kay Alto Yogon. Yes, and uh, dapat bumoto pa siya no? uh, ng uh, more body shots because uh, nakikita ko, he's adept at doing that. Kaya niya naman eh. Kaya lang siguro, naiilan din siya doon sa pagtukod ni Sagawa dahil uh, sa tansya nga natin, uh, mas mahaba ang reach ng uh, Japanese boxer. But this is a fight, make no doubt about it. Hindi lumipad itong si Rio Sagawa dito para magpakalo lamang. He's really pushing Alto Yogo to his limits in the first four rounds. Japanese boxer showing a lot of courage, showing a lot of resiliency. And sa research nga sa batang ito, sinasabi na kakasimula lang ito sa boxing. But the way he's fighting right now, partner, Masasabi mo na parang veterano na rin itong si Rio Sagawa. Nung pitong laban pa lamang for Rio Sagawa, definitely not fighting like a newbie. 
in this regional title fight. Gandang suntok mula sa katawan, mula sa challenger. Another one. Straight right hand down the middle of the defense. Itong si Toyogon. And this change will bring us to the end of round number four. Our promoter, Bebot Elorde, so looking on. After round number four, Judge Chay. This is our lead. 40, 36, Toyogo. Judge B. 39, 37, Toyogo. And Judge C. 38, 38. And there you have it, folks, our official scores. Mulipo, those are the judges' scorecards after the first four rounds. One has it, a shutout, 40-36. Yung isa naman, 3-1, 39-37. And the other judge has it dead even, two rounds apiece, 38-38. Agree ako rin sa 38-38 and 39-36. Pero, 39 37 rather, pero yung 40 36. Medyo. <laughs> Kaya pa pa na kaisa naman siguro. To si uh, Rio Sagawa. Dahil tingin natin yung second round was a clear round yes. for Rio Sagawa. Uh -huh. At yun nga yung uh, uh, nag motivate dito kay uh, Toyogo to be uh, aggressive in the third round. Huge uppercut landed by the defending champion. You know, a, a facet of open scoring that hindi pa natin masyado naaaral is how it affects the psyche ng box ng mga boxingero, no? Because, you know, you're guessing the scores usually. Ngayon naman, alam mo, you're down four rounds yes. or you're down two rounds sa isang card. Ano yung gagawin mo para makaganti? Ayun na nga. Hindi, alam mo, problema rito. Uh, Carlo, alam naman natin na recently mayroon na mga... Uh, questionable uh, scoring, you know. What if you do that in a championship, in a marquee fight? Tapos, uh, alam mong nananalo ka, pero pag-announce ng uh, judges, eh, lamang yung kalaban. Okay. Diba? So, yun ang tanong dun. How will uh, that affect ang isang fighter na pretty obvious na marami na lamang siya? Pagkatapos, pagdating dun sa pag-announce ng official scores, eh, yung kabila ang uh, nasa upper hand. I think you'll agree with me, Dennis. I think the open scoring really favors whoever is ahead. Because you can control it. You know where you can go. You know where you can go. You know where you can go. Alto Yogon has the advantage in two of the three scorecards. Yes, that is if a fight is scored fairly. It's good. It's a huge right hand landed. By Rio Sagawa. Kahit pa paano, may harang, may depensa. Mula kay Alto Yogon. Final seconds of round number five in another hotly contested round. Both corners hard at work. Look at that uppercut, right one. Mula kay Toyogon. Pero may mga body punches din na nasusungkit itong si Rio Sagawa. Well, one thing is for sure, itong uh, Japanese boxer partner talagang uh, 
Maikita Mui prepared well for this fight. Supposedly, mas veterano tong si uh, Toyogon. He's the more confident boxer, being the defending champion, being the fighter na nandito uh, sa kanyang backyard. Pero yung uh, sagawa, wala eh, no? Parang hindi affected nung uh, whatever advantages meron si Al Toyogon sa laban na to. Round six, come on. Round number six. Here we go. Al Toyogon, the defending. WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight Champion staking his ground against Ryo Sagawa of Japan. Big uppercut from the Japanese challenger. Ano ang igaganti nito Yogo? Mayon naman in this round it is Sagawa. Yes. Who's putting more power sa kanya mga suntok? You know Sagawa's performance, ah, overall performance. Is making the Japanese contingent dito sa Elorde Ballroom uh, proud, ano? At uh, nakatayu sila lahat, ano? Anticipating uh, some excitement coming from their fighter. Kahit na nalalamangan man sa puntos, palaban si Rio Sagawa, not minding the score. He's pushing on, moving forward. The fighters exchanging uppercuts. Head over hand combination turning out to be a good round for Rio Sagawa. Alto Yogon backed up here. Parang nata timing na ni Sagawa si Toyo Yogon partner ah. Nakuha yung tamang timpla sa ating round six. Another massive right hand. Matalino rin ito si Rio Sagawa. Could be a big round for the Japanese challenger. He's outworking Alto Yogon here in round six. Tapos nalulubid niya rin eh, no? Naka-corner niya. Ito lang nagagawa si Toyogon. Toyogon being warned for headbutts. He was trying to push off with his head para makawala lang. Para makakuha ng konting distansya. But again, balik sa atake si Sagawa. Tsaka partner, yun nga na may variety yung mga suntok ni Sagawa. Meron sa katawan, meron sa mukha. Straight, upper, overhand, may jab. If there's one thing lacking kay Sagawa, siguro konting bilis. The power is yes. definitely there. May combinations. And now he is loading up against Payogon. Definitely a big round big for round. the Japanese Watch challenger. Not minding the score. The Japanese challenger pouring it on in round number six. Kahit na maaga siyang nilamangan ng ating defending champion, e maganda yung balik ni Rio Sagawa in that last round. Want to remember, ah, one of the three judges after four rounds, tabla. Tama yan. Yung isa, one round lang. Meron isa, shut out. Now, it's, it was clear for us both, ano, na... Nakuha ni Sagawa yung sixth round. So, most likely, partner, close fight ito sa official 
scores ha, nating mga judges. At ngayon, siya ulit ang umaatake sa round number 7. Alto Yogo trying to fight back. Loading up on right hands, repeated. Again, banking sa kanyang overhand para masaktan itong si Rio Sagawa. Alam mo, dapat mag-relax muna ng konti si Toyogo. Ang feeling ko rito, he's starting to get uh, frustrated. He's been dragged into a bar fight oh, itong oh. challenger. Nagusto naman ni Sagawa. Mga sugod ni Alto Yogon, kinakapos ng konti again because of that reach disadvantage. Mahirap kay Sagawa, whether uh, distance fighting or in fighting, parehong gusto niya. Oh, katulad nun. Uppercut naman ang pinapatawa ni Sagawa. Toyogon responds. Nawala yung job ni Toyogon, partner. Ano? Yung uh, kanina nga, napabilib ka sa pagbato ng uh, left jab ni Toyogon. This time, nawala. Yung leverage na yun eh. It was sort of a leverage for him. Kaya naging maganda yung uh, takbo ng mga first few rounds uh, ni Toyogon. Kaminsan kasi pag napipikon ka, na tinatamaan ka, gusto mo suntu ka na lang eh. You forgot, you forget about the science of it. Even if the jab was so effective for Toyogon in the first couple of rounds. Maganda ang condition nito yung Japanese boxer. Hindi nagpapalit eh, no? Pareho pa rin. Pantay pa rin yung pace ng nilalaro niya. Ay, no? Unrelenting yung mga atake. And uh, show no respect whatsoever dun sa suntok ni Alto Yogon. And uh, yung fine form, so to speak, ano? yung mga bato ng suntok na alam mong... Uh, Plinano, hindi yung tipong uh, suntok lang just for the sake of uh, throwing a punch. At Dennis, napapadalas din yung sandal sa lubid ni Alto Yogon. Which is not a great sign. Seven rounds already history. Sa laban ni Alto Yogon at Sagawa, these are the highlights from that last round. Dokita natin, good right coming from Rio Sagawa and the Japanese boxer showing to us na baliwala yung uh, kung uh, meron man uh, supposed to uh, home court advantage si Alto Yogon. Although we still have uh, five more rounds to go, a lot of boxing left and uh, yun nga. Uh, considering yung narinig natin kanina na official scoring, this could be a close fight uh, right now. After the upcoming eighth round, muli babasahin ang ating official scores, which we feel you and I both, Dennis, could be a little closer for the Japanese challenger. Baka mag-split na yan, partner, ha? Uh, kasi mayroong isang shout-out. So most likely, yung judge na yun will still have Toyogon ahead. Pero yung tablang score, baka maswing ni Sagawa, no? yung uh, judge na yun. And uh, makuha niya yung uh, lamang. Yung nagustuhan din natin mula kay Toyogon kanina, after what we think was a poor round two performance for him, he came out firing in round number three. Ngayon, after what we felt were two subpar rounds, ano yung papakita niya sa round eight? Ayun, sana nga, ganun ang mangyari dito. Pero the difference is, partner, that third round, medyo fresh pa si Toyogon. This time, he's coming off, sabi mo nga, two subpar rounds na medyo physically nabugbog siya. But now at least he's able to stay in the middle. Pero kinakaan siya doon, mga nakanan. Oo. Over the right, oh. coming from Sagawa. Kanina, yan yung puhunan ni Toyogon. The challenger wanting to turn this fight around. Parta, tinatamaan si Sagawa ng kanan sa katawan. Parang hindi iniinda, no? 
parang parang dinaanan lang na, parang hinampas lang ng Jaryo yung tagiliran ni Sagawa at yan yung magsasabi na praktisado pinaghandaan ni Sagawa itong laban na to he knew he had a strong champion in front of him maganda so far ang uh, taktika rito ni Rio Sagawa pinabasa niya eh, no? hinahanapan niya ng opening and every time na may makita siya, nakaka-react agad yung kanyang uh, mga kamay. Tulad niya, no? may opening, combination, nakita yung katawan. Pato agad, dalawa sa katawan. And right now, he is outworking Toyogon in this round. And he knows also when to move out of harm's way. Tactically, ano yung adjustment dapat mula kay Toyogon? Mahirap ito, partner, kasi alam mo, itong si... Uh, Rio Sagawa, whether brawl or distancia, kuha niya pareho. And yung mga body shots, I think, masyado matibay yung katawan itong uh, Japanese boxer. So probably, sa nakikita ko, no, ibalik niya yung uh, whatever he did sa early part of this fight. Balik niya yung jab. Jab, you know, ibalik niya, kumuha ng composure after all. We still have four rounds after this. Pwede pa naman, either way, na manalo. Sagawa doing very, very well in the last couple of rounds. End of round number eight. <laughs> ESPN 5, Bangor, Musashi Personal Incorporated, and Nari Singhwongcha. After round number eight, here are the scores of our judges. Judge A, 7-6, 7-6. Judge B, 75-77. Sagawa. 74, or Judge C, 74, 78, Sagawa. And you just heard the scores, the official scores of our judges, Sagawa, completely turning this fight around. Yes. Two of the three judges, right? Pabor sa kanya ngayon. Apparently, yung Malamang yung 78, 74 na pabor kay Sagawa. Ito yung draw kanina. Ito yung draw kanina. No. Ito naman yung lamang ng isa. Yung 77, 75 now favoring Sagawa. Yan yung isang round ng lamang ni Toyogon. So, Dennis, it means the judge that scored it a shot out, yung first four binigay kay Toyogon, yung next four binigay lahat kay Sagawa. Yes, kaya tama ba? Tabla, no? Yung kanyang uh, scoring. So, medyo bumawi ron. <laughs> Si uh, Judge A. And now, kung ikaw yung corner man ni Toyogon, you know na kailangan ipanalo mo na yung huling mga round nitong yes. laban na to. Must uh, win para sa kanya yung mga last, uh, re yung remaining rounds, yung championship rounds actually. And he's a defending champion, so this is the moment no, na kailangan niya na mapatunayan. Ito yung moment na inaantay ng every boxer for that matter, partner. But Dennis, personally, how did you score it? I have it uh, tabla nga, no? yung sa score ko, na parehong 76. But uh, masyadong uh, malayo yung momentum no? na meron itong si Sagawa. Makikita mo sa kanyang kilos. No? He's a very confident fighter right now. At the same time, nandun pa rin yung kanyang diskarte. No? Nandun pa rin yung kanyang pag-iingat. He is able to balance everything. You know? Pero yung malinaw sa ating lahat, the momentum is now firmly on the side of the challenger. Yes, without a doubt, partner. And he seems to be the fresher boxer uh, between the two. Alto Yogon, can he find another gear? Can he level up in the final rounds of this matchup? 
problema kay Toyo yun, partner. The kind of fight na gusto ni Sagawa, binibigay niya sa laban na to. So far, ha? Again, completely abandoning his jab. Nawala, eh. Head back, no, head back. Cornerman looking on, thinking of ways para matulungan yung kanilang fighter. I think Toyogo needs his second win partner sa laban na to. Tingin ko kinakapos na eh. Tougher round to score, hindi malinaw na nasungkit. Ni Rio Sagawa, but still you can make that case because he worked harder in that round. Yes. Oh, oh. Ta, may kita mo naman na between the two, no, mas hinahapu na itong si Alto Yogon. At dami nang nagbibigay ng advice sa corner ni Alto Yogon partner. Yung mahirap din yan kung kanino bosses yung mangingi baba o kung sino. Yung talagang pakikinggan itong si Alto Yogon in this situation. Whereas si yung kabila, isa lang yung pinakikinggan. So apparently, effective ano? yung uh, anuman yung uh, payo ng uh, trainer ni Rio Sagawa. Round 10 has you approach a championship rounds here in our main event. Of the Night of Champions 17, Carlo Pamintuan, Dennis Principe on the call. WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight title up for grabs. And the challenger coming from Japan wants to take it away from our defending champion. Could still go either way, partner. No? Hindi dapat uh, masyada mong kumpiyansa rito si Ryo Sagawa. It's still a close fight, yes. Maganda nga yung ginawa niya in the last four rounds, pero... That was just enough para maging close itong laban na to. Good flurry mula kay Al in the first minute of round number 10. Now tumatama na si Al Toyogon. Ano to, Porter? Parang medyo kinakapos na rin itong si Sagawa. Hindi rin kasi biro yung nilaban niya in the past five rounds. But Toyogon, make no mistake about it. Kailangan maipanalo niya. He's two of the last three rounds. Yes. Ah! Low blow. Yeah, that was a little low. But this is just the first warning. Contra sa challenger. Clubbing punch mula kay Toyogon. Again, going back to that right hand. Pero nakikita mo, eh, no? Clear pa rin yung mata nitong si Ryo Sagawa. Yes, oh. Other fighters after a punch like that will be glassy eyed. Sakanya wala, dinya ini inda. He's very much aware of whatever is happening in front of him, of his surroundings. Talagang andun parin yung focus ni Rio Sagawa. Much better round for Alto Yogon, pero hindi bibigay basta basta yung kanyang kalaban. Pero one solid punch could alter, ah, kung ano mga lamang meron dito si Alto Yogon. Muli po ang ating scorecards at the end of round 8. 7-6, 7-6. Tapos isang 7-7, 7-5. And 78, 7-4. Both in favor of Rio Sagawa. However, this is a much better round for Al Toyogon. Partner yung score na yan, ha? Even if Toyogon gets this round, I think all... Sagawa needs is to win one more round. But depending on kasi how the judges scored round number nine. Oh. Stop! And that is the end of round ten.
championship rounds coming up, and these are the highlights of round 10. Toyogo and Contra Sagawa, and the Filipino champion pouring it on in that round. Here we score on ito, partner. Tatanungin muna dapat kita eh, pero inamin mo na rin that the 10th round is very difficult to score. Maganda yung panimula. Ni Toyogon, may bawi yung Japanese challenger. And then they exchange until the tail end of it. I did that the last round kay Toyogon, which makes it draw para sa akin after 10 rounds. Five apiece for Davis Principe. Ayun na yung Jack partner. Dapat kanina niya pa binabato yun. Ngayon niya lang nilabas. Kaso nawala na naman. Posing, come on, come on. Sakawa, posing, ha? Posing. Walang sagot si uh, Sagawa dun si Jack. Eh, no? eh, Toyogan, pero ang problema, Toyogan is being forced to brawl by Sagawa. Nakalimutan niya yung jab. Will he rediscover it here in round number 11? Right now, maganda na naman yung simula sa round ng Japanese challenger na si Sagawa. Nice shot mula kay Sagawa. Pagkakita mo yung uh, conditioning to si Ryu Sagawa. Eh. Also at this stage, Dennis, sa pagkadikit na rin ng ating mga scores, a knockdown will turn this fight around. <laughs> Doon na magkakatalo. Both fighters have proven na kaya nilang sakta ng isa't isa. They've also proven na kaya nilang tanggapin yung pinakamalalakas na suntok ng kanilang mga kalaban. As both of them have been able to stay upright. Nakikita mo yung uh, impressive uh, stamina ni Ryo Sagawa, Carlo. Every time na uh, bumitaw siya, pagbalik ng kamay na kababa, akit agad, nakataas agad eh. Yeah, it's like that, oh. Vega! 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 From that powerful right straight. And again, Sagawa going back to work. He's not going to be. Pressing on, throwing punches, landing that uppercut to the body. Yes, for him to fake a shot, partner, is a testament to his focus sa laban na to, no? As much as possible, ayaw niya mag-commit ng uh, mistake. At mahirap gawin yun sa isang boxer. Especially for a fight like this, na napakadikit. May mga dukot pa sa katawan itong si Rio Sagawa. I think Sagawa is being able to steal this round, partner, ha? With those body blows. Ayun na naman. Isa na naman sa katawan. And we will be heading to our 12th and final round. Dennis Principe, what a fight so far. Without a doubt, exciting. And uh, fast pace, pero tactical, eh, no? Especially dito kay uh, Ryu Sagawa. Ito yung uh, slow-mo replay. Sa sobrang haba nung uh, kamay ni Sagawa partner. Ang lalim na nung... Uh, Dukot sa katawan. Dumidikit pa rin. Tumatama pa rin eh, no? <laughs> sino kaya yun? Kahit sino man, tama siya. <laughs> Toyogo needs this round <laughs> to save his title. Again, championship advantage if the fight is scored even mananatili sa kanya ang kampiyonato alam ko boss na yung partner ha, na crucial itong round ha, para kay uh, Alto Yogon and you have to believe that both fighters will pour it on yes. the fight is on the line whoever wins this round might just be the victor Okay, again, Sakura and Parker. I gave the last round, the 11th round, to Sagawa. So I have him around ahead. 6 to 5 for Dennis Principe Lamang, the challenger. Phone booth fighting in round number 12. 
Toyogo needs to get some distance. Kailangan niya magpakama ng malinis. You know, what's impressive about uh, Sagawa is that supposedly sa phone booth fight, mas lang yung mas maliit eh. Pero it is turning out to be an advantage for Sagawa although inaabot siya rin ang magandang kaliwa. Pero bawi agad si Sagawa. Papahawak na itong si Toyogo. And let's see if he can mount one last rally. One minute and 30 seconds remaining in this matchup. Mayroon pa bang pwedeng ibuho si Alto Yogo. His Japanese challenger not even budging. I think the problem ni Toyogo in the last three rounds, partner. Halfway through every round, bumababa yung kanyang level of activity. At doon naman pumapasok si Rio Sagawa. Oh, itong walang kapaguran at na challenger is still pouring it on. Toyogo trying to weather this storm. 50 seconds. Title on the line. Parang baterya tong si Sagawa Parta. He keeps going and going. Sagawa. Still throwing heavy leather. Tomboyon replying. 30 seconds left in this matchup. Nahulog na yung mouthpiece si Sagawa. But now referee letting them fight on. Oh, good shot from Sagawa. Fans of both fighters imploring them to keep attacking. What a fight as they will exchange until the final bell. You can say that again, Carlo Pamintuan. What a fight. Rematch, please. <laughs> <laughs> what an outstanding fight. Of course, the challenger, Ryo Sagawa. First time fighting outside Japan. Kabilang banda, ang kampion ng Pilipinas. Alto Yogon. Will he be able to keep his title? These are your exchanges in round number 12. sumuko up until the final bell. They were throwing with mean intentions to try and win this matchup. Interesting yung last round yung kung paano yung score ng ating mga judges. Of course, the proud promoter. Bebot Elorde. With what has been a very impressive fight card, Dennis Principe. In its entirety, partner, talaga namang uh, top notch ang ating uh, boxing card today. Great matchmaking as well. And now, only one result. Has yet to be delivered. WBC Asia Silver Super Featherweight title. And still, or and new, that question will be answered in just a few. Of course, our officials from the Games and Amusements Board still tallying the results. Toyogo and what's up after the first four rounds. Sagawa swung the fight in the next four. And now we are ready for the announcement of our official result. Before we announce the winner, palakpakan po muna natin Al Toyogo and Rayo Sagawa. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of boxing, we go to the scorecards. Carlos Costa scores about 116-112. Al Lianeta scores about 
113. And Sylvester Abainsa scores about 117, 111. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And you, WBC Asia Silver Featherweight Champion, Rayo Sagawa! A deserving victor, Rayo Sagawa takes the title away from Alto Yogon. Your score is 117, 111, 116, 112, and 115, 113. What a performance coming from this challenger from Japan, taking the title away. Outstanding work great enabled him to emerge victorious in this match. He was very, very consistent the entire night, uh, partner.